Welcome to another tarot and oracle review. This is the Animal Tarot, the Animal Totem Tarot by Lisa Robinson and illustrated by Eugene Smith. It's a Clewellyn um, production and it's the fourth printing of this particular deck and Eugene Smith did um, illustrate Alice in Wonderland. So this is another great magnetic box. And within it is a black and white book, but it's a great book, a great thick book, illustrations on the back. And as I say, it is black and white, a small amount of information about Lisa. Um, she does have a website, but it does say at the back how to get in contact with her um, with a self-addressed envelope. <laughs> so that's quite interesting. I do find it funny. Um, when that happens <laughs> oh. so yeah so anyway so about the cards in here illustrated and gives you if, if you like to write in your books um, it's up to you it does give you a period of uh, space to do that if you're inclined it's entirely up to you so let's have a rundown of the cards and there is a ribbon in there, and that's the inside of the box. So, as you say, see, it just flips down. <laughs> Pretty simple, isn't it? I'll put that on there for you. So, shall we have a look at these cards? You may have already seen these. As I said, this is the fourth printing uh, of them. So, I think it was 2019, um, this printing, uh, if you're interested. Yep, 2019. Okay, so the cards on the back are quite beautiful, really, with that um, blue sky and pink flowers. It's the usual um, thin paper or card by Clewellyn. Easy to shuffle, aren't they? So oh, the size is um, that size. So we'll do a rundown. Major Arcana first, guys, with the full. So these are a lovely deck, um, and that's on the front of the box, the beautiful fox. So connecting to animals and their personalities is one of the things that can teach us a lot of benefits within our own life. So if you like animals and creatures, they really can shine um, information on your situation so I think this deck is done really well by Lisa and as I say Eugene Smith did illustrate for Barbara Moore's Alice in Wonderland so Eugene he's got a little bit of a sense of humor at times and I think this card is absolutely fantastic how he's actually captured that it's just amazing very clever. Wheel of Fortune. Japanese Crane. The Hanged Man. Devil. <laughs> So if you are new to tarot, I think this deck can easily explain uh, what each card means when you read the book. Unless you just intuitively pick out what's going on in the picture. I love this card. How cool is that? Wow. What are we doing? Are we doing something? Did we have a job? What? what? And that's unusual as well, isn't it? So now we're on the Wands, Ace of Wands. You can all count to ten, so. So obviously they go in the theme of the Rider weight pack. So 
So you can generally understand through the pictures what is going on. Now, the court cards, the knight. Go through the cups. Emotional. I do like that one, Under the Sea. Coffins. Golden cups. Always pays to have a sense of humour. Hardworking salmon. Oops. Ten of cups. Page. So, as you say, there is a whole array of creatures in this animal totem tarot. I think it's a wonderful deck, an absolute wonderful deck. So I'm really glad that I have this. Mole, mole in the hole. Um, oh, <laughs> Roadrunner, oh, beautiful, hardworking insect. I don't know why I was leaning like that. <laughs> Nearly finished, guys. Four of Pentacles, the Queens. Five of Pentacles, interesting. Chickens. Nearly finished. <laughs> and the last one is the King of Pentacles. Ooh. So there you have it. Those beautiful animals um, are all totems to help us understand a little bit better. So that's a guide to the animal totem. So I hope you've enjoyed that flip through and hopefully you can invest in one of these. So thank you for your time looking through if you don't want one of these um you will be able to see these cards in my live sessions and other readings so do check out my playlist thank you for watching and lots of love to you